about countering uh, radicalism and extremism uh, in this region also. Uh, there is uh, one religious preacher whom the Indian agencies have been wanting to question for a long time, and there's an appeal for extradition also. I'm talking about Zakir Naik. So my question is, did that issue was also discussed when uh, you had a meeting with Prime Minister? And what is Malaysia's stand on this extradition process that Indian agencies have been wanting? Well, firstly, it was not raised by the uh, Prime Minister. He did raise it much earlier, many years back. But the issue is, uh, I'm not talking about one person. I'm talking about the sentiment of extremism, of uh, compelling case and uh, evidence that suggests the um, atrocities committed by an individual or group or faction or parties. These are of concern to us. Um, the atrocities of uh, Israeli forces in uh, Gaza, that is real and killing 40,000 people. That is atrocity. That is fanaticism to our D, to our, as far as I'm concerned. Now, issues if raised by countries to contain, uh, to, un to secure understanding, and uh, to ensure that uh, we have good bilateral relations would continue. And, and uh, we are open to any ideas, and if evidence submitted, we, we, we will not condone terrorism. But you have to produce a compelling case to support. Uh, and, and we have been tough. We've been uh, working together with India in many of these issues against uh, terrorist cells. Uh, but I don't think one uh, case should deter us from further collaboration and enhancing our bilateral co uh, cooperation. Uh, good evening, sir. This is Yeshi Sehli from the New Indian Express. I have two small questions. Uh, Prime Minister Modi spoke about uh, you know, trade in local currencies between India and Malaysia. Can you throw light on that? And also, you know, our neighbors, whether it is Bangladesh or Myanmar, are uh, unstable right now. Did that come uh, up for discussion? Were there any uh, things that you talked about? The uh, decision to use as much as possible local currency is something um, which we um, acknowledge is important, a priority. Our central bank has agreed the use of rupees and ringgit. Uh, we have done so successfully, at least, at least 20% of our trade with China, or 18% with Thailand, or close to 20% with Indonesia. So we're expanding this um, to use local currency denominations in our trade. And um, I certainly uh, responded very positively to the um, proposal by uh, Prime Minister Modi on the need to uh, use local currency, rupees and ringgit. And I think um, it's time that countries in the global south wake up and uh, depend on themselves and their comrades rather than uh, depending on the more obsolete uh, monetary system that has weakened our position in many fields. On the issue of uh, Myanmar, yes, we did discuss. We are a bit concerned about the developments now, but um, I, I think we need to uh, engage a bit more. Uh, ASEAN position of the five-point consensus is not to recognize, but notwithstanding that, we do accept the need to engage at the different level. And uh, I've mentioned this because uh, India can uh, participate in this process. We are all concerned. Now, on Bangladesh, the development, of course, is uh, um, being, still being debated. We, I did make a call to uh, Professor Muhammad Yunus to say that, you know, we wish them well, to, uh, hopefully the country is stable and uh, protect the issue of human rights and the rights of minorities. He has given categorical assurance to that effect and we need to give them some time. And uh, we, um, as neighbours, uh, particularly India, I mean, we should do whatever we can to ensure that there's a peaceful transition in Bangladesh, what the people decide, but finally through a democratic process. And, um, and, I, and I just hope uh, well for people of Bangladesh. And I think our duty is to make sure that there is peace uh, immediately and then the, the transition that they plan should happen as uh, soon as possible, particularly democratic transition because economically they were doing relatively well and they need to sustain that 
and probably um, enhance that uh, or propel economic growth.